and welcome to the vise. Today we're going to tie a two ply intended for the Danish salmon fishing. It's a shrimp fly with some weight on it uh, with the 5 mm beat and a small cone head. Let's get down to tying. First of all, heat the tube to make a small corner here in the back end. And almost ready to go. First of all, we have these Mirage tinsel and we'll make a small tag or butt on the fly. Just apply one drop of this varnish to add a bit of strength to the fly. Like this. And then first haggle on the fly. And tie it in and just bend the fibers on one side of the feather that will make it lay much nicer. Two or three turns. Pull off some of the fibers to give it a nice point of tying. Get in. And this shrimp fly will be in a hot orange and in these long fiber soft fiber swims like crazy and this a bit stiffer feather inside to to lift it and for giving it a bit more lift than the feather here I will tie in a few strands of of bucktail like this and a few of these you can use whatever you find of these bit stiffer hairs in black and white colors just to keep the contrast and, and work as antennas on the fly. Like this. And then the long fibered haggle. it in and this you can turn almost as you like it because you go backwards in the haggle with the thread later on this is just for making sure you have fibers all around the tube So instead of cutting off the fibers and tying it in, you just turn it like a haggle and one run the thread backwards like this. Next on the fly is adding eyes and to give them a point to lean on and the angle you put a small 
dubbing, what do you call it? I don't know. A small dubbing layer to lean the eyes against. Just take the pliers, press the eyes a bit. Tie one in. And the other one. Same thing. Like this, giving it a good wrap. Next step is this gold tinsel on the underside of the tube. And once again, one of the feathers with the long, long fibers with a lot of movement. This one is, has a bit shorter fibers than the first one. And I'll tie it in at the top of the fly in between the eyes. Like this. And then a bit of varnish to give some strength to the first layer of dubbing. And I'll just go backwards with the first layer of dubbing and then forward but the second layer of dubbing that gives a strong fly and it helps me create the shape of the fly that I that I want yeah. and then coming forward with the dubbing I use a bit more material so I have a bit more bulky fly here by the eyes I think that will do and then we will give it a nice brush with the Velcro, making the fibers from the second layer of dubbing come loose and help us create this shape of the fly, like this. And then we have to find the tibet of the feather. See if I can grab it. And make sure not to catch all of the dubbing fibers. We'll brush it later with the Velcro, but see if you can't go in between the fibers. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Give it a go once again. In the tippet of the feather, the stem is so thin, so can easily pull too hard when you're tying it in. I'm 
just do it again. Like this. And give it a bit of brushing again <clears throat> to make all the fibers come loose. So works quite okay. Cut away. And then it's time for some super glue. ready to put the last haggle on the fly and then finish off with the small cone head. And for this we'll take <coughs> a feather with shorter fibers as or shorter than the first one we used. I cut away the tippet, just leave a few strands bent backwards like this <clears throat> and then bent the fibers making the haggle lay quite nice four four or five turns would do four i think Super glue once again. Just a tiny drop. Don't get your fingers or the haggle fibers stuck in it. Taking the small cone head, you just can use a tube or whatever to press it towards the haggle. 
there was one heck of fiber coming from underneath there cutting away the fret and then Cutting the plastic tube a millimeter or so in front of the comb, giving it a, a bit of heat. So, one shrimp fly, shrimp, each fly tied on a tube. The good thing about the tube fly is that you can <clears throat> use the, the hook that you prefer in the specific fishing situation. You can use a single hook, double hook, treble hook, whatever you, you favor. And the way you mount it is the leader through the, the tube and then tie the hook to the leader. You can fish it like this with a loose hanging hook or you can take one of these small hook guys. Just press it over the collar of the, the tube and then mount the hook in it. Let's see if we can make it work like this. You can point the hooks upwards so you can fish it clo close to the bottom without getting stuck like this. 